So I happen to be among the five people who still watch The Walking Dead. And a couple days ago, we saw the season 10 finale and I decided to review the whole thing. Um, so I'm going to talk a little bit about the things I liked, uh, what I didn't like, compare it to a little bit to the other seasons and just like give my final thoughts um, and also compare it a little bit to the comic books because I also read the comic books and I think they're great. I think they're uh, even better than the TV shows. So if you haven't read the comics and you're well into comic books, you should give them a try. Um, but anyways, so I'm, I'm going to give a little bit about my thoughts, uh, first on the finale. So, so before I go on any longer, I'm going to warn about spoilers about the comic books and the TV show. So I haven't watched them skip, uh, straight ahead. Um, so season 10 as a whole covers the final acts of the whisper arc. So, um, it covers like a lot of, a lot of different chapters from the comics and the final, it, it ends in the, like the final part, uh, 30 second arc, which is called a certain doom. And this is a pretty intense arc. Like it's so, uh, honestly heartbreaking and sad and intense. And there's so much death in the comics during this part. And it, it, it really like, it really like cul culminates the whole whisper act in a way that really lets you know that, oh my God, these guys were actually a threat to, you know, the group and the communities at Alexandria and all those communities. And, um, so, uh, part of the reason is like a pretty major character dies in the comics and a lot of really, like a lot of people really die. Cause like the, the giant horde, uh, surrounds Alexandria, uh, and the, well, in the TV show, it's a hospital and it lasts for a couple issues and there's like a lot of like a lot of things at hand and that is something i didn't see in the final episode um in the in the in the episode that came out last week which came out like a couple months after episode six, 15 so it was kind of hyped you know i, I was really hyped for it and i, I was kind of let down because uh you know it was fun to see certain scenes like it was fun to see daryl which isn't in the comics you know fighting uh beta which is like the the de facto leader of the whisperers now um it was fun to see like uh it made me feel like there were a lot of like most a lot of characters were, were gonna die and in the end nothing happened like in the end the pretty much the whole horde just got wiped out like this like nothing really <laughs> there wasn't really much action going on to be honest and in the end um you know it closed several arcs like it, it was a it was a good thing to you know close this um like basically and finish off the whispers but in the comics they keep like beta survives the this ambush and um it keeps on he keeps on like stalking uh certain members of the group and in the in the in this one they, they were just like you know what let's just get rid of that and keep on with the the next arc in the comic books which is going to be pretty good it's going to be pretty good um the next arc is going to be about the i don't know what you call it the citadel uh it's been a long time since i, since I read the comics but uh it's basically the like the new um town that the survivors encounter and i'm pretty excited about that but overall i think this episode kind of like lacked a lot of, a lot of that stuff that um that was so monumental and important in the comic books but yeah anyways <laughs> As a whole, season 10 had a lot of moments that I really enjoyed and that I felt like they were true to the source material and also um, were true to these characters and did not drag on, such as like um, like Alpha's death. That was a pretty well, that was really well done. Um, and But the thing I, I didn't like a lot about season 10 is that it kind of follow, falls into the same patterns that season 7 and 8 kind of like went through, like super long sequences and whole episodes of just nothing like just like side missions that don't really matter in the in the in the end like it feels like you can like as a, as a watcher of the tv show you feel like the writers just make these episodes to fill fill in time and that feels wrong um and it's weird because season nine was so well done season nine was really amazing from beginning to end and season 10 just kind of felt slow at parts it felt like the whisper act was really dragged on and it had a really disappointing conclusion. Well, not disappointing, more like rushed. Like uh, in, the, in the last episode of the season, I was like, the writers were just like, you know what, let's just kill him off and move on with the next act. Um, but that, that's pretty much it. Like, I, I don't, I didn't really like the whole season. Well, I, I mean, I liked it. I mean, The Walking Dead has pretty much become a show where, that you just put in the background while you do other stuff. Um, especially as a comic book, uh, watcher, like I, I know 
where the main beats of the story are going to hit. And it makes for some interesting moments, but as a whole, um, if you're a, if you're somebody who hasn't read the comics, I don't think you're going to enjoy season 10 that much. But I still have like great expectations, and I'm still going to watch season 11. Um, yeah, I, I really like The Walking Dead, and I really like the comics, so I just kind of... I, I, I kind of want to see how they execute the last chapter in the in the saga and hopefully get Rick back because I really enjoy, like, love Rick Grimes, the main character. I think he's going to play a great role in the final chapters. But anyways, that's all my thoughts about the season finale. Um, anyways, if you like my content, please uh, like, subscribe, and share. Um, I really enjoy making this, these vid videos. Um, and that's pretty much all for today. Um, see you around.